Okay, before we start off, I would like to point out that I have created a new folder called Page Font Style, and within the folder, I have three new icons a 16 by 16, a 48 by 48, and 128 by 128. And the icon is just the Code Evolution logo with a different background color. I kind of messed it up, but anyway, these are the three icons that we will be using for this particular extension. And I have opened the same folder, Page Font Style in Visual Studio Code. And like before, our extension starts with the manifest file. So create a new file, manifest.json. All right, and now we're going to start off with a pair of curly braces. Okay, this is a bit slow. Okay, so first we need to specify the manifest version. So manifest underscore version and this is going to be 2 and then we are going to have a name for our extension so name is going to be page font style extension the next thing we are going to specify is the version of our extension so the version is currently going to be 1.0 then we can have an optional description so description this is going to be changes font style on a specific page yeah let's leave it at that the next thing we can specify is the icons that represent our extension so icons and then this is going to be an object we need to specify the different icons so for 128 we are going to be specifying icon 128.png for 48 we're going to have icon 48.png and we're going to be doing the same thing for 16 by 16 <coughs> excuse me all right now that we have our icons the last thing we need to specify is that our extension is a page action extension so page underscore action and this is going to be an object we can specify a default icon so this is going to be 16 uh, the 16 by 16 so icon 16.png this is basically the icon that appears in the toolbar and then we can have a default pop-up so default underscore pop-up and this is going to be pop-up.html pop-up.html and finally we can have a default title that that gets displayed when you hover over the icon so default title and this is going to be page font style all right that is it for our manifest file at this point of time we will come back to this later on and add a few lines of code as and when needed so i'll see you guys in the next video